to the Barrow Street Owl House. After round number one, our audience has text messaged us the scores that they applied to everybody, and here's how they scored the bout. We have a tie at 76 points each, Tom and Lenny. And our leader after the first round, Danny Cohen with 80 points. This next segment is called Comic Riffs, and we're going to find out what bothered or was weird to each comic this week in sports. Starting us off, Mr. Tom McCaffrey! Hey, hey! I think you guys misread those text messages. Um, Wimbledon, you guys check that out? That's awesome. I usually don't get into Wimbledon, but there's like, it's unbelievable how many like hot chicks are in Wimbledon now. Like if you, seriously, like that has gotten me back into tennis. Like Sharapova, who's like, she's like 17 and unbelievably hot. Like Kornikova, who's like, sucks, but everyone loves because she's hot. It's just like, I don't even like rent porno anymore. I just like <laughs> turn on Wimbledon or like download it from the internet, right? <laughs> it's very embarrassing. Actually, my roommate walked in on me the other day uh, watching Wimbledon. <laughs> And I turned it to the Playboy channel. I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> I was watching two lesbians make out. <laughs> Not Wimbledon. <laughs> and then, like, they have, like, uh, dudes uh, as line judges for the chick matches. Like, how do they, like, pay attention to what's going on? <laughs> Like, I would not be able to concentrate if I was, like, a line judge in a chick match, you know what I mean? They'd be like, so Tom, was that ball in or out? I'd be like, I don't know. I, um, I was fantasizing having sex with the players. <laughs> and they'd be like, can you try and concentrate more and put your pants back on? I'd be like, I ref better with no pants on. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Good night. Yes. All right, Tom McCaffrey. Next up on the mic, put it together for Danny Cohen. Um, okay, so the producers came up to me and they said, hey, why don't you talk about Kenny Rogers beating up uh, the cameraman on the baseball field? At first I was like, well, uh, Kenny Ro does Dolly Parton have anything to do with this at all? <laughs> and then they were like, no, uh, you know, not, not that Kenny Rogers. This guy's a, a different Kenny Rogers. Um, he's a left-hander. And I was like, a left-hander? I was like, what, what the hell does that have anything to do with this fight? And then I realized, well, it's probably a bigoted remark like that that started the whole thing. <laughs> I mean, honestly. Because it was like really kind of like, like you know, like they were accusing him of being a left-hander. And then it sounded so much, it reminded me of like Salem, Massachusetts. Uh, because you know, in the, in the 1700s, if you were a left-hander, you were either a witch or you were homosexual or you were both. And, well, obviously, this guy is not gay, uh, this Kenny Rogers, because gay guys like to be photographed, so. <laughs> he's, obviously a, he's obviously a witch, so. But thank you. All right, keep it going for Danny Cohen. Our final comic on the Hot Topic subject. Keep it going for Mr. Lenny Marcus. I think the big story in sports this week was uh, the NBA draft. This will be the last year of the draft that you can be 17 years old, come right out of high school and get in the draft. After this year, they've changed the rules and you're going to have to be 19 years old. So next year, I think there's going to be a lot of pissed off 17 year olds <laughs> because they're going to have to do like horrible things now, like go to college and, <laughs> and like study and God forbid, learn. Now, there is a success story in all this. It's Shaquille O'Neal. Now, if you heard during the week, Shaquille O'Neal, the other big story was he got his MBA. And I was like, wow, Shaquille O'Neal got an MBA. That's, that's impressive, you know. And I, but I can't really think, like, why does Shaquille O'Neal need an MBA? So they asked him, Shaq, why do you need the MBA, an MBA? And he said, well, you never know, man. Um, after this career is over, I may have to go back to work and get a nine to five. I'm like, really? Uh, <laughs> I can't really see Shaquille O'Neal in an office and his boss coming up to him like, oh, Shaquille, could you fax this for me to Cleveland or something? You know. So good luck, Shaquille O'Neal, and to the NBA and the students. Good night, everybody. Keep it going for Lenny Marcus. All right, when we come back, round three, shooting the ball. We'll tally up the scores, see who's in the lead, and we will be right back. <laughs> 